uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about the uh, verification of sampling theorem, one of the experiment of DSP laboratory. Uh, we will see uh, one by one. First, we will see CLC. CLC stands for clear command window. It clears the command window. Close all, it will possess the, all the windows. Clears the means it clears the command window and figure windows. So let us take the time. I'm going to represent, write the time into starting with zero and end time is 0.2 seconds. I'm going to design for five hours. Five hours means t equal to one by f. t equal to one by five is 0.2. The frequency for the generator having the frequency is five hours. So, let us take F. I'm going to uh, take the frequency as F input. Enter the frequency. Uh, uh, we have to find the uh, signal having the 5 hertz. And for U suffix stands for under sampling. So it is a command. It will take the input for the given signal. Input is the command meant for taking the input. Input, enter the frequency, F Q equal sampling concept. Uh, under sampling means to the price of the frequency. Fn, Fn stands for, uh, uh, as for the definition of Nyquist rate, uh, equal to price of the frequency. Hence, Fn is greater than or equal to 2Fs. Next one is thing. Enter the frequency of the ore sampling. Should be much more greater than price of the frequency. So let us see generation of signal with 5 hertz frequency. I'm going to generate a signal with frequency 5 hertz. For that, I'm taking the variable equal to sign of. It is the syntax. It is the command meant for generation of sine wave. Sine of 2 pi f we given that is 5 hertz frequency is going to plot start 0.2 seconds okay we are getting we are getting sinusoidal waves with time stamp and end with 0.2 seconds next not two subplot is a command Dividing the figure window into two uh, blocks, nothing but here or there. See, this first three indicates that in the number of rows we are going to divide the figure, get the number of columns, and third, see, for example, subplot is we are dividing the figure window three columns in that are going to display this figure so that wave in the second position of the uh, figure window so uh, after x comma 3 comma 2 the figure will divide into three rows three columns this result is going to display in the second position of the figure next plot plot is a command uh, displaying the figure in the analytical manner. So uh, plot is a command which is meant the analog signal. Plot of t comma a. t is a what? Time. We are going to plot the sinusoidal signal with the t. Already t is defined here. Here this one t. So remember it is this syntax we have to mention inside the bracket time value a stands for what amplitude amplitude of what sinusoidal signal so after executing this line so we are going to get the figure of sinusoidal signal with frequency starting with zero and end with next read down it is going to divide into lines x label it is the labeling the x axis so we are labeling ends. Similarly, y label 
it is the labeling title title of this uh, given as a generation of analog signal giving the title to the particular operator let's see one by one so we will see three cases under sampling nucleostate sampling and over sampling after that the uh, sample signal Under sampling means, as I told, it should be less than or equal to request rate sampling. Uh, sorry, F should be less than or equal to two year. Same thing I am written here. And amp of under sampling is I indicate it as a term of under sampling. U stands for under is zero, end is. 0 0.2 that one already we know the given as a time star starting point is 0 and that one is going to end at 0 0.2 seconds but how to we are going to sample that is 1 by f 1 by f u means f u is already be taken that f u should be less than or equal to 2 f so any value you have to take for f u that should be less than or equal to 2 f then u s stands for it is a variable uh, that indicates u stands for under s stands for sampling u s is equal to sine of 2 pi yeah, this is then, uh, what uh, sampling of the given signal with the timestamp t equal tu. That is tu is already defined. Next subplot three comma three comma four. Nothing but dividing the already we divide into three rows, three columns, and this result is going to under sampling result is going to display in the fourth position of the figure. And stem is a command which is meant for displaying the figure in the discrete manner, discrete nature. Uh, uh, plot is meant for analog nature is meant for discrete nature so what we are displaying here this result we are going to display in discrete format that is as i told the syntax of stem is also first is time followed by the amplitude time is indicated by tu here time of under sampling it is the amplitude of the uh, under sampling next similarly x label it is labeling of x axis y label it is the labeling of uh, y axis and title of the figure is under sampling next is Nicustrate sampling. Uh, Nicustrate sampling, as we know, uh, the already we defined this time stamp, uh, time stamp of the analog signal that is starting point is 0, end point is 0 0.2. But we have to sample uh, as per the frequency that is Fn. Fn is what? It is the Nicustrate. N stands for Nicustrate frequency. Fn is what? Fn should be greater than or equal to twice of F, twice of given frequency. So that value we have to take any value that value should be greater than fn should be any value that value should be what it should be greater than twice of twice of given frequency twice of given frequency means it should be more than 10 because given frequency is 5 hertz it should be more than 5 hertz means it should be more than 10 now we are going to get the amplitude of the signal that is Nyquist rate sampling ns is equal to sine of 2 pi f so timestamp is what tn tn already defined Similarly, this result is going to display in the fifth position of the figure window. Three rows, three columns, and fifth position. And displaying the result in the discrete manner, that is time followed by the amplitude. So similarly, labeling of x-axis, labeling of y-axis, title of the figure. Last one, oversampling. Similarly, we have to define the time for the oversampling that is indicated as a TO. O stands for oversampling time. Starting point is timestamp we know 0 and end at 0 0.2 and we have to sample by frequency f0 f0 stands for over sampling f0 should be what much more greater than see here already we defined uh, f0 f0 should be what much more greater than of twice of given frequency any value we have to take that should be much more greater than of given frequency so then plot the then get the amplitude of the given signal, uh, oversampling signal, by defining OS. OS stands for oversampling sine 2 pi f as it is. Next with timestamp, timestamp is TO. So similarly, the result is going to display in the figure window in the sixth position. Okay. Next, display the figure. For that, in discrete nature, we are using stem. Uh, time is uh, indicated as T0 uh, and amplitude is indicated as OS. So labeling of x axis and labeling of y-axis and title of the figure so all these three cases what we discussed right now this is about the sampling of the first we discussed generation of analog signal with the 5 hertz frequency 
then we discussed uh then we discussed under sampling then we discussed liquid type sampling then we discussed over sampling the final one after sampling the given analog signal we have to reconstruct back from the sample signal so for that we are making use of one command specific command is there inter p1 it is a command meant for reconstruction of the sample signal so for that first we have to define the time stamp so n1 is indicated the reconstructed time so starting point is zero already we know end stamp is what 0.2 seconds so what we are sampling uh, so what we are going to reconstruct uh, we know that uh, we have to reconstruct the sample signal only possible out of these three cases we discussed three cases under sampling nickel state sampling over sampling but out of these three cases uh, the reconstruction is under percent reconstruction is possible from the nickel state because in under sampling uh, the samples we are getting very low very less number of samples we are getting in case of over sampling the number of samples we are getting more number of samples we are getting there the overlapping of uh, samples occurs because of that reason reconstruction is not possible exactly because of that reason we are considering while reconstruction of signal we are considering nickel state sampling so because of that reason while taking the time stamp for the reconstruction we taken the frequency of nickel state fn stands for nickel state frequency so Similarly, R1 is a variable. It is used for reconstruction purpose. That is equal to inter P1. Uh, as I told, time followed by the frequency. N1, uh, Tn is what? Which time? We are taking the Nyquist state time and uh, Nyquist state sampling uh, amplitude. And this signal, Tn, comma Ns. Tn is the time of the Nyquist state. Ns is the Nyquist state sampling uh, amplitude this uh, sampled signal we are going to reconstruct with this timestamp that is n1 n1 is already defined so subplot 3 comma 3 comma 8 so the result we are going to display uh, in the eighth position of the figure window and uh, we are going to display the result in the analog format analog nature because of that reason we are making use of a command called plot plot uh, the syntax of plot is as a, as we discussed time followed by the amplitude n1 is the time of the reconstruction signal r1 is the amplitude of the reconstruction signal so once again uh, labeling of x axis and uh, labeling of y axis and title of the figure is reconstruction of the sample signal so let us execute this uh, experiment uh, we will see the uh, results This is the verification of sampling theorem. I'm right now. I'm going to execute the this theorem. Run. Enter the frequency. So first, I will enter the frequency of the signal. That is, I will take. It is given five hertz. Then uh, enter the frequency f u. F u means f u should be less than or equal to two f. Uh, under sampling, I will take two uh, f means five into two. It is ten. Less than two f means I will take nine. Then uh, enter the frequency of Fn. Fn should be what? Uh, it should be greater than or equal to 2F. Uh, Nyquist state sampling. So I will take uh, 100 maximum. Next, enter the frequency F0. F0 stands for over sampling. So I will take much more maximum frequency, 500. Then, OK. So we got the result. This is the figure window. So first, as I told, uh, see, this is the figure. This is first position, second position, third position, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. So the figure window is divided into three rows: one row, second row, third row, and three columns. One first column, second column, third column. So total three rows and three columns. Uh, as per the instruction, first figure generation of analog signal. I am going to display in the uh, Second position. This is first position. This is second position. So this is what generation of analog signal. Then under sampling. See here we are seeing only two samples. One and two samples. Less number of samples are there. From this under sampling case, uh, it is highly impossible to reconstruct the signal because we are getting only two samples. How come it's possible to reconstruct by using these two uh, samples? So highly impossible. Next one is Nikki straight sampling. Uh, we taken uh, hundred. So if you sample this uh, analog signal as per the Nyquist rate, we are getting these many samples. Next, coming to the, oh, this is displayed in the 
first, second, third, fourth, fifth position of the figure window. Next, oversampling. Oversampling means here, we can see here the overlapping of samples occurred here. Overlapping of one sample with other samples. Overlapping of one sample with other samples. So from this oversampling also, uh, it is difficult to reconstruct this signal. Because of that reason, we are considering the case of liquid state sampling. If you consider the liquid state sampling for the reconstruction, easily we can reconstruct the signal. So this is the reconstruction of the sample signal that is displayed in the uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 8 position of the figure window. This is about the sampling theorem, verification of the sampling theorem. Thank you.